Okay. So you saw me ball up the clay, smack it down, seal the clay to the wheel. Don't forget that. And um, I'm going to go through coning and doming, which is I'm going to squeeze and lift. Elbows on my legs. Pull in the slope. See the slope down here? Use the sponge, pull it in at about 2 o'clock, and pull it in until you see a shadow. And then squeeze and lift. So I'm squeezing up the cone, and then I'm going to push down a dome. I'm going to tilt it off center, apply pressure. So coning and doming is one option. The hammer is the other option. I like to do a little bit of both. I like to kind of warm up my hands and loosen up the clay with the coning and doming, but then I'm going to finish and, and really make sure it's totally centered with the hammer. This is the hammer again. You got a top hand with the sponge, you got a side hand. Elbows on your legs. We're going to lean in to the clay with the side hand until it starts to rise, then add the top hand, match the pressure, find the balance, and gently release. And I like the sponge up here because I can squeeze out a little bit more water as I need it. Everybody good on this? Okay, so moving on. And I'm going to go kind of quick through this. Moving on, I'm going to cross my thumbs. This is opening. Um, everybody show me your thumbs right now. Okay, and point to this part of your thumb. This is the heel of your thumb. This stays in the middle, and this must be the lowest part. If at some point your thumb tip is the lowest part of your thumb, you need to stop opening and switch to double-double. Okay, because you, depending on how double-jointed your thumbs are, so I'm squeezing, and that's about as far as I can go. So I'm going to gently come out. I'm going to switch to double-double, go a little further. But the key here is keep this round. Keep it round from the beginning. That's our goal in the end. It's our goal in the beginning and the middle as well. Okay, um, so Tiny Tony test. Remember Tiny Tony? Take Tony Hawk, shrink him down until he's this tall, put him on the edge of your bowl, let him drop in. And the question is, how does he go through that bowl? Does he do well or does he get injured? Um, and right now I'm looking at this, he's going to get a lot of speed right here and then it kind of drops out and then he, yeah, I think he's going to get hurt right around here. So I need to refine this curve a little bit for Tony. So um, I'm going to do this, I'm going to sponge on the outside, uh, middle finger up at the lip, and I'm resetting the curve. And I'm going to do that as many times as I need to get the curve perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean perfect for Tiny Tony. Does he look like he'd do alright through there? Okay. So anytime your curve is not perfect, fix it. Reset the curve. So that's resetting the curve. And it's really easy to practice at this stage. Later on at the end it gets a little trickier. Okay, so now we're on to the big squeeze. So this is picture number two on your handout. Okay, so starting position. Uh, my inside middle finger is dead center. My outside middle finger with the sponge is at four o'clock. This is my starting position for both the squeeze and all three pulls. So when I squeeze, again, I said 80% of the pressure is going to come from the outside hand, 20% from the inside hand. So are we ready? Set, gradually increase the pressure, gradually decrease the pressure. Okay, so it's cut in at the bottom. It's starting to kind of take the shape of a bowl. Um, it's got a little wiggle to it, and it definitely needs to have its curve reset. So um, first I'm going to fix the wiggle, and to do that I'm going to take get back in my starting position with my inside hand, but I'm going to wrap my thumb around down to the foot at the outside, and then I'm going to apply pressure with my sponge on the lip. So I'm squeezing everywhere, inside, outside, and on the lip. So here I go. And this, this is going to stabilize that wiggle. And it's done. See how the wiggle went away? Okay. All right, now let's reset the curve again. Sponge on the outside. Middle finger up at the lip, throw down. And that's better, but it's still not perfect. And we want it to be perfect. Tiny Tony do all right through this? I think Tony's okay now, right? All right, so now we're ready to actually pull. So again, three pulls, all from the starting position. Here's starting position. Now get close. I want you to watch the hole I'm going to dig with my inside middle finger in the middle. And ready, set, dig. Now show me with your fingers how deep that hole is. Show me with your fingers how deep that hole is. Okay? Yes, yes. It's about yay deep. Um, 
Now a couple things. That, and that's why we left so much clay on the bottom. We're going to dig a little bit each pull. And in the end we want to still have clay on the bottom because we're going to trim. So now I'm ready to start the pull. So that was part one. Part two is begin the pull with the inside hand in a curved line. Part three is join the pull with the outside hand. So here we go. One, two, three, pull in a curved line. I'm going to pause briefly right here because this is where my outside hand joins in and this is where I try to get as much height as possible. So join, unpause. So I'm really trying to get some height here. Pull number one. I'm going to fatten that lip back up. To fatten up the lip, I'm just going to hold the lip and apply a little pressure with my sponge. Reshape it. Anytime your lip starts to get thin, fatten it back up. And keep it fatter than you want it right now because it's going to get thinner as it gets wider. So here goes pull number one. Here goes pull number two. Same process. Dig, start the pull. I'm going to slow my wheel down. Start the pull. Join with the outside hand. All the way through the lip. Gently come off the top. That's two pulls. Here comes number three. And you can do this with a rib tool or not. I'm not going to, but you could hold your rib tool on the inside and do this. But So pull or d dig, start the pull, join. So I made a little wiggle spot there. Um, so that's the third pull. Now we're going to shape and scrape. So I'm re-wetting everything. I'm going to do one shaping pull. So this is with the rib tool. And I'm going to start from the bottom, just because I kind of messed the shape up on that last pull. And go up. And now I'm going to reset the curve. I see if I give the Tony, tiny Tony test here, he goes real steep right there and then he hits this bump. I want to get rid of that bump. So to do that, this is the trickiest move of the whole process. So I'm wetting the outside, getting it really wet and slippery. And I'm going to get my hand real wet and slippery. The top of my hand, make a pistol finger position, hand position, and then I support with this part of my finger, I'm going to support the outside of the wall. Can you see what I'm doing, Natalie? Thank you. So the rib tool comes here up at the top and I'm going to throw down and reset the curve again. You want to get the shoot the inside of the bowl too. There we go. So down we go. All the way to the center. I got all that slip on there. I'm going to scrape it off. I'm going to repeat as necessary. Rewet the outside again. And it's still close but I still have that little bit of a bump in the curve right there. Almost got it all. Okay, so it looked like Tony would do all right through here. Still not really happy with that little bump right there. So I'm just pushing it up a little from the outside. Okay, so everything's about the inside shape at this stage in the game. Um, we'll worry about the outside shape when we get to trimming. Thank you, Swirl. Thank you for choosing to eat your Cheerios out of a handmade bowl. All right, so I'm ready to take it off. So it's a modeling tool. I'm going to use the round end of the modeling tool to dig a finger groove. Want to see you out here, Natalie? So coming at 3 o'clock, I'm holding the tool with two hands, digging that groove in there just deep enough to fit my fingers because that's how I'm going to lift it up. So tight wire, keep it on the wheel the whole time. And scissor fingers open, uh, palms up, scissor fingers open, twist and lift onto your board. Okay. Now when you throw a bowl, freshly thrown bowl today, if you let it sit out uncovered in the cage overnight for 24 hours, it will be perfectly leather hard and ready to trim the next day. Um, if it's going to be more than 24 hours, you want to cover it loosely, okay? If you have any questions, you could always ask me when it's time to wrap up.
Um, all right, let's get this, give this some practice. Ready to go. Take your hand outs with you, have your hand